Christy Stevens is the newly elected school board member representing District 3, which includes Rising Sun and the western part of Cecil County. Christy, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about your background. Um, I am a mom of three students currently in Cecil P County Public Schools. Um, we have four children. One is uh, two years old, so he's not quite ready yet. But <laughs> um, So I have been a volunteer um, and a substitute teacher in Cecil County Public Schools for about nine uh, years now. And uh, throughout my involvement with the schools, I've just uh, grown to um, have a desire to, to give back and to um, support the progressive movement toward excellence that our schools have shown in the past few years. So that makes sense that why you would run, but what was it that compelled you to run? Um, honestly, there was an event. Um, I was in my daughter's kindergarten class a few years back, and a little girl came in, and it was the dead of winter. It was freezing cold. And uh, she came in, and she didn't have a coat. And so I mentioned you know, to the teacher, you know, oh, she doesn't have a coat. And it probably occurs more than I was even aware of. But um, learning that the, the child comes from a low-income household with a broken family and um, it just really struck me that, uh, you know, I've always been concerned about my own children and mm -hmm. their um, growth and their grades and their progress. And it just struck me in that moment that I can do everything possible to help my children, but they're still going to school with, with other children. And so it really takes a community effort to not only reach my children, but my heart really um, just had a, a desire to help all of the children. Mm -hmm. And I, it sounds very generalized, but it, to me, it's we're a community and we have to work together. And um, my children are, are important to me, but just as important are the children that they rub elbows with at school every day, because it does impact my children. It does. Um, and so really that kind of got me thinking about my involvement on a, um, on a bigger scale. Mm -hmm. um, I then reached out and was able to volunteer on the uh, advisory committee, which is a collaboration of parents and board members. Um, and we just kind of work together, talk about what we see as weaknesses, what we see as strengths, uh, what we see might need improving. And from there, it just kind of uh, snowballed into uh, more committees and more mo involvement. And uh, about a year ago, the, uh, the, the opportunity arose that the, the board seat would be empty. And so I discussed it with my family and discussed it with a few of the board members that were currently seated, mm -hmm. seating and um, decided that it was a good choice for me. So. What issues are most important to you that, that you will try to address while you're on the board? Um, obviously, school safety um, is at the top of the list. I think we do a really good job um, with our ALICE training, mm -hmm. um, providing physical safety, but there's more to school safety than just making sure that we have um, you know, adequate plans for escape if tragedy occurs. I think right. but there's a preventative effort um, that we really need to focus on. Um, more school psychologists, um, more school counselors, I really think a relational connection is so important. Um, oftentimes, children hear about these dangers or these rumors before anybody else does. Right. So they need a safe person to talk to. Um, so that's why I love the partnership that we have with the Cecil County Sheriff's Office. Um, they're providing a safe relationship for these kids to, um, to be able to have a safe outlet when they do hear of these things. Um, not just police officers, though. We have to have counselors and teachers and psychologists that are readily available for these students when these things occur so that we can try to prevent the tragedies from occurring um, rather than just reacting to the tragedies. So school safety is, is really important to me. Um, one of the um, goals of Cecil County Public Schools is to provide a safe, secure, and inviting environment for all students. Mm -hmm. And that word inviting really resonates with me as well. Um, it's not just about school, school security, but it's really about um, encompassing the children. A lot of trauma, we have a lot of broken homes, a lot of low-income mm -hmm. families. Um, a lot of transiency kids that don't have consistency. So I would love to see our schools continue to excel. Our kids might not have the best when they go home, but I would love for them to walk into the doors of their school every morning and feel like they've been given the best. Um, I was able to tour Gilpin Manor not too mm. long ago. We did too, it was great. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I was blown away by what I saw. It was not, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not what I was expecting. Didn't um, it make you want to go back to school? It like, did, start all over? totally. I'm like, this is gorgeous. <laughs> the, the, uh, the library and the, the specials wing with the, um, the, the integrated theater. art studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. And everybody seemed happy. Mm -hmm. There were just smiles on these kids' faces. And to learn that over half of them might not be there next year because they're transient, transient. or mm -hmm. homeless. Um, it, it, that just broke my heart, but also to think these kids are walking in these doors and they're getting the best. Yeah. And that is a really important piece of the community, I think. When we can provide them the best, 
um, when they might not have it everywhere else, I think mm -hmm. that's really important and will catapult them to excellence. When you look ahead four years from now, what impact do you, do you hope you will have had on the board itself? Um, relational connections are really important to me. Um, obviously, the board uh, is really is responsible for policy and um, a lot of tasks, a lot of budget stuff mm -hmm. that just is kind of boring. Um, so that stuff's important, yeah. but a, a really important piece of it for me is relational. Um, I think Dr. Lawson does an excellent job of this. Um, Dr. Devine did a great job. Our graduation rates skyrocketed, our dropout rates fell in half. Um, and so continuing that excellence, I believe Dr. Lawson brings a relational connection to. And what do you mean by that? Um, he's in the schools. He's, mm -hmm. he's shaking hands with people. He's rubbing elbows with teachers and kids and um, community members. He really cares about the person. Um, and I, I, the, the excellence, the grades, the stats, that's all really important too because we have to measure things so that we can continue to grow. Um, but I can tell just by engaging with him that he really cares about this community. Um, from the tiniest little guy in pre-K mm -hmm. to the teacher or the principal that's been here for 20, 25 years. So I hope to be able to bring that as well, a relational connection, um, speaking for the public, for the stakeholders. Um, that was another important piece for me was communication. Mm -hmm. I think um, sometimes there tends to be a communication gap, not intentionally, but I think sometimes information just kind of falls in the middle and it doesn't always get communicated clearly. It's, we can't always trust Facebook and right. those yeah. kind of outlets. Um, so I hope to be able to be a relational piece for parents and stakeholders alike and just grow our community. Um, I, I have great faith. I've lived here for uh, almost 20 years now and I have great faith in our community. And I know that we have some amazing people that really love their community. And um, I think through collaborative efforts and partnerships, we can continue to uh, provide the best for our students. Well, I look forward to seeing what you'll do. Thank you. Christy Stevens is the newly elected Cecil County Public School Board from District 3. Thank you so much. Thank you.